Thank you, Lord, for being our strength, for being our song, for being our salvation. Thank you for being our God. Blessed be your name. We prepare you our habitation. You are our Father's God, and we exalt you. That is Exodus chapter 15 and verse 2. And so, Lord, we bow before you. Blessed be your name. And today, I decree and I pray that the Lord will keep you on track into your future. You will never, never be sidetracked in the name of Jesus. The Lord will pour upon you the honor of his name. You will be far away from dishonor and disgrace. I pray that the Lord will deliver you from deceivers, eloquent deceivers, who call themselves Christian but live contrary to the word of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 2 verse 34 says, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many. In Israel, everything that is associated with Jesus, associated with the gospel, shares the same feature and characteristics. It's either those things bring someone up or they bring the person down. That's how it is. The ark that killed Uzzah prospered Obededo. The prayer of Jesus saved Peter and sank Judas Iscariot. And so today I decree that this prayer will work for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your study of the word of God will work for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our God is glorious in holiness. May he baptize you in his holiness. He is fearful in praises. May he continually receive praise in your life and in the life of your children. He does wonders. Today, may he do wonders in your life, uncountable wonders in your life. His promises shall be fulfilled in your life. Prophecies concerning you shall move speedily to fulfillment. By his providence, all he has ordained for you shall be released unto you. On a daily basis, the Holy Ghost will continually lead you. You will prevail in prayer. You will have power with God. You will have power with men. You will no longer be a pushover in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord reveal his will to you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Holy Ghost shall kindle your desires. The Holy Spirit shall direct your thoughts. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree and I pray that the Holy Ghost will give you language. Holy Ghost will give you faith. Holy Ghost will give you zeal. Holy Ghost will give you passion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that today God releases unto you the keys of the kingdom, the keys of blessing, the keys into thrones and high places, the keys of wisdom. As from now you begin to operate at a higher dimension of wisdom operating with deep capacity in the name of the Lord Jesus. Angels of God will attend to you. Innumerable company of angels. The Lord will sort you out today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever he has for you is released in your direction. So shall it be. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.